Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna get straight into it for primer I use the benefit that gal primer this one's actually a brightening primer so it's amazing for people with drier skin or if you just want a really nice dewy base I really really love this primer I've only just started using it recently and then I'm just spraying her face with a bit of Mac fix plus then for foundation I'm using Mac studio fix in NW 20 and I'm just buffing that all over her face with a damp beauty blender Then to color correct the purpliness underneath her eyes, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the orange color. And as you can see, I'm just placing that underneath her eyes and blending it out with a damp beauty blender. And then to conceal and highlight her face, I'm using the Urban Decay Weightless Skin Concealer in the shade Light neutral I'm pretty sure or leave it listed down below if it's not I'm just placing that in a triangle underneath her eyes well actually upside down triangle Cupid's bow chin down the bridge of her nose and a little bit on her forehead Then to set the concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to bake and I'm just packing that on my beauty blender and placing that underneath her eyes. Then to set the rest of her face, I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless as always in the shade Natural and just dabbing that all over her face. Then for brows, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Kit and I'm using the shade Dark Brown and I'm just using that on my Pony Cosmetics eyebrow brush and filling in her eyebrows. And then to sculpt the brows, I'm just using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer again, just the same shade that we used to conceal. Just using that on a concealer brush and as you can see, I'm just going straight underneath her eyebrows. Then I'm also just using some of that same concealer again as a eye primer and just buffing that into her eyelids. And then I go ahead and just take some more of the Laura Mercier translucent powder and pack that over the lids to set the concealer. Then to set the brows, I'm going in with the Benefit Give Me Brow and this is in the darker shade and I actually really love this product. I only just started recently using this on my clients and I love, love, love the way it looks. And then going in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit just on my MAC. I think it's 135. I don't know. I'll leave it listed down below. I can never remember what type of brush this is, but it's amazing for bronzing. So I'm just placing that in the hollows of her cheekbones and then I go ahead and place it um, on her jawline and then around her temples. And then I contour her nose a little bit with it as well. Then to bake her contour, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder just on an angled sponge. And as you can see, I'm just going directly underneath the contour. And then after a minute or so, I'm just brushing off that excess powder because I don't like to keep it on for too long. 
Then for blush, I'm using the MAC Petal Power. This is so amazing. It's kind of like a peachy pink with like a sheen to it. It's so amazing. It's so similar to the Balm Hot Mama. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And I'm using the shade Moonstone and just placing that on her cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of her nose, down the bridge of her nose. And this brush is actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighting Brush. I always get questions um, asking which brush it is, but yeah, it's the Anastasia one. So for eyes, I'm using the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And first up, I'm going in with Burnt Orange and using that as a transition shade and just buffing that into her crease. Then I'm taking Love Letter, which is the most amazing pinky cranberry color, and I'm just working that on her outer corner and into her crease. And then I'm going in with the matte brown shade, which is called Cypress Umba, and I'm just packing that on the inner and outer corners to make that halo eye look. So after I've packed on the dark brown color, I'm just going in with a clean blending brush and blending all the harsh edges. Then taking Primavera, which is the most gorgeous champagne gold color. It's so amazing and pigmented. I'm just placing that on the center of her eyelid. And then for the lower lash line, I'm starting off with Love Letter and I'm just using that on a small tapered blending brush and just buffing that into her lower lash line. And then to darken things up a bit, I'm going in with Cypress Umba again and I'm just also putting that on the lower lash line. And to highlight the inner corners and brow bone, I'm taking Primavera again, seriously, one of my favorite shades of this whole palette. And then I'm coating her top lashes with some mascara. I just used the Pony Cosmetics White Night Mascara. And then for lashes, I'm using the Model Rock 212 Lashes. I'll leave everything listed down below um, for you guys anyways. And I'm just placing that on with some Duo Lash Glue. Then I'm just using a liquid liner. This is the NYX one and I'm just using that to hide the lash glue and just to make sure everything is all nicely blended and black. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm using that to line her waterline. And then I'm grabbing Makeup Geek's Corrupt Matte Black Eyeshadow. I'm just using that on a really fine eyeliner brush and densely packing that just underneath where we lined her waterline just to make it a little bit more smoky and then going in with a blending brush to smoke everything all out.
And then of course going in for round two with highlighter, I'm just using that same highlighter we used before, which was the Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit in the shade Moonstone. Then for lips, I'm taking the Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lip Liner. This is honestly one of my favorite nude lip liners of all time. They're super creamy and pigmented and look amazing on. And then the lipstick I used is also by Gerard Cosmetics. It's called Buttercup and it is again one of my favorite and most popular shades ever. And then I'm just going over them with a clear gloss. This one's just by Rimmel. I'll leave the name down below. And then I'm going in with some mascara again and coating her lower lashes. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learnt something new. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.